Welcome back to the next video. In today's video, I will show you how to create REST APIs in .NET version 8 uh, with Postgres database. So first of all, I will show you uh, the two REST APIs which I have created in Postman. So first one is a Post API. So here I can add a name of any movie. So I'll just add a movie ABCD and it gets added to my Postgres database once the movie has been added i can fetch a list of movies as well so if you see over here i can fetch the list of movies that are present inside my database so let's get started on how to do this so first what you will have to do is uh, you will have to install dotnet inside your uh, on your pc or a laptop so i have already installed it you can just uh, google for dotnet uh, i'm using version 8 which is the latest at the time of this recording once that is done you will have to uh, run this command uh, so dot net new uh, web api dash n but this my app you can give it whatever name you prefer so i have given the folder name as my app next we have to add three dependency so just like we add uh, uh, npm install uh, inside our node.js project to add dependency for our dot net project we have to add this dot net add package microsoft dot entity framework core uh, so uh, and next is for postgres sql and next is for auto mapper so if you want to know where this dependency are found you can go over here nuget okay nuget.org and here you can search for all the dependency which you want to once you add this dependency you can see they are added to this my app dot cs proj file so here you can see entity framework core postgres sql as well as auto mapper has been added next uh, what you will have to do is first we'll have to create a model for our project uh, so what i'll do i'll create a folder called model inside that i will create movie.cs so uh, this will be one table inside my database so it will contain an id as well as a name and it has a key uh, that means it will be primary key and this field is required as well name make sure the string s is small and you can add this data annotation import as well for this key and required next uh, you will have to create for the folder for data so inside data first create imovie report.cs so this is an interface which will contain all the methods which we require so first one is save changes second one is get all movies uh, which will help us to uh, get a list of all the movies third one is to get a movie by id because once we create a movie using this we need to fetch that particular movie by its id so that's why we are using this get movie by id next we will have to create a repo for this which will extend imovie repo and we also have to create this movie context so first we will see this movie context so this is like boilerplate code which we have to add so it basically extends from db context and you have to add this dependency entity framework core and uh, inside the constructor so you can use db context movie context of opt base opt uh, and here you can just use a db set movies and add a getter setter so here this can be even further uh, simplified using something like this so if i save this let me okay i'll check it later on uh, so this is done next i have done sql uh, movie repo so here we are created object read only movie context and here we have passed it inside the constructor so again this can be simplified as well okay and uh, something like this and here we are first creating a movie so if the movie is not null not equal to null then we are doing contact dot movies dot add otherwise we are throwing an exception similarly for get all movies we are uh, uh, getting the entire movies and uh, sending it as an array or an i enumerable next to get a movie we are using for find uh, like contact dot movies dot first or default and getting the movie by its id similarly for saving changes we need to use context dot save changes greater than equal to zero that means the movie here that means it has been saved properly next we have to create a dto so uh, create a folder called dto 
inside that i have created a mo uh, movie create dto dot cs and it will just take a name uh, because id is primary key that would be auto generated for us and here you can see i have just marked it as required then inside movie read dto uh, we require both the id and name because we are just reading the file that's why i'm passing both the properties over here uh, next controller we have to create a controller and inside that we will create movie controller dot cs and here you can see we are first creating a route api slash movies and here as you can see we are a creating a primary constructor which takes a repository as well as imapper and we are extending from controller base and here we are passing read only repository as well as mapper then we have created this http get api endpoint so this would be our in, in, endpoint basically and here we can get repository dot get all movies so this is a get request if you do a get request to this endpoint you will get list of all movies so which we are doing over here uh, similarly uh, for creating a movie again same endpoint but a pro post request so we are doing the same thing over here uh, like move ma underscore mapper dot movie movie create dto then we will get a movie model and from that we are calling the create movie method then we are calling repository dot save changes so uh, anytime you create something you have to call save changes method as well then we are do getting the movie read dto back again using the movie model and from that uh, if you see we are using the get movie by id so which i have created over sorry which i have created over here so using that we will get the actual movie which we have created okay and if you see get movie by id it just takes an id and internally it calls uh, repositories get movie by id and if the com command item or the movie item is not equal to null then we just send it back to the user user otherwise we say not found okay so i have told you the controller part dto part as well next you have to create profiles as well now this is used by auto mapper so create a folder called profiles inside that i have created movies profile.cs and it extends from profile and uh, here you can see that we have created mov mov movie profiles uh, constructor and in that we are just creating a map for uh, mapping auto mapping like uh, movies to movie read dto and movie create dto to our movie okay and make sure you have all this imports as well once that is done we need to inject dependency in program.cs using add scope so if you go to program.cs so this is the file and here we you will have to refactor so there might be some weather forecast code which is kind of like a dummy api automatically uh, return code for us when we try to create a web api project so i have removed that next i have created this var builder so this is i think present uh, this is already present from so what i'm doing i'm getting this configuration so why we need configuration is because if you see my app settings.json over here you will have to add this connection strings and inside db connection because we are using postgres database so here you will have to add your host port number database name username password and ssl mode so make sure you do have this because we will be referencing this string now if i go to program.cs so if you see we are using this configuration to get that db connection first i have added course then i have added db context movie context and inside that options i'm using uh, npp like pg sql then i have added our controllers then i have added auto mappers so this will automatically map our dto's to our model next i have added scope for imovie repo to sql movie repo and these i think are auto uh, already created for us then i have added a builder and here also i have added some cores and over here i think this is also by default present here you will have to use use http redirection as well as map controllers and here we are just calling the run method okay next uh, if you want you can create uh, the table manually using create table command 
but a better way would be to first install this tool called .NET tool install dash dash global .NET EF then just check this .NET EF is present or not you might have to add this uh, once you install this tool it will give you uh, some command right add this to your uh, bash shell or z shell some export something something that path you have to add so once you add that path uh, you just run .NET EF and then you can run .NET build just to check uh, there are no errors in your code uh, once you do that uh, you can add a migration for your uh, project which will automatically create table for us so you can run dotnet ef migration add initial migration if you are running it again after making some changes in your model you can add two initial migration to something like that and once you do dotnet ef database update it will automatically create table for you inside your database and this also helps us to check whether our database connection is proper or not and if you want to remove migration you can run dotnet ef migrations remove once that is done you can just run uh, .NET run so uh, given that i have made few changes like those related to primary constructor and code cleaner following the best practices i will check it once again whether uh, the api is working fine or not so i have run .NET run again and I'll just run this get request okay it seems to be working i'll add one more movie so yeah it seems to be working df yeah that's it thank you for watching bye